Hello and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things having to do with sales and scaling businesses. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about why it's critical for coaches and consultants to have an appointment setter in their business and what specific action items they should have their appointment setter focusing on to get the best results. So let's dive in and get into this training. So why is it so important that you need an appointment setter? Look, for coaches and consultant in today's competitive environment, it's more important than ever to be able to maximize every lead that comes in and to be able to produce appointments outside of paid advertising. Remember, your goal as a marketer, if you have the ability to outspend your competition on advertising, you win. The appointment setter's sole purpose is to set you up with qualified appointments. This frees up your time to be able to focus on other income producing activities, such as closing deals, nurturing a relationship with your clients. Now, to maximize the appointment setter's potential, they should be laser focused on top income producing activities. Here are some of the activities that they should be prioritizing. First and foremost, confirming appointments as a business owner. If you don't have the time to be able to reach out to all of your appointments on your calendar, you need to have an appointment setter confirming these appointments to be able to increase your show up rate. That's step number one. Number two, the appointment setter should follow up with deals that you have been pitched before but didn't close. These are potential clients that you may have forgotten about and a simple follow-up may be able to help you to get that deal over the board and actually closed. The third thing is who booked but didn't actually show up. Your appointment setter should follow up with people that have booked but didn't show. This shows them that you care about their time and encourage them to actually take the scheduled call. Number four, previous buyers. Any buyer or lead that's purchased anything from you in the past should be a priority. These people have already shown an interest in your products or service and are more likely to actually purchase from you again. Number five, active prospects. Prospects that are active inside of your community or your list that just haven't booked yet with you. They've already shown an interest and they just need a little extra push oftentimes to schedule a call with you. Number six, any lead that's actually opted into your funnel but not has yet not booked with you. There's a ton of opportunity in these leads. They've already shown an interest. They've expressed an interest in working with you. You should have a process where you're following up with these leads to get them on your calendar. Number seven is social media engagement. People on social media that you've given tips or content to, that they've engaged, follow up with these leads. This shows them that you actually care about their success. Engage with them to get them on your calendar. Number eight, social media followers. People on social media that are following you or interacting with your content should be added to the appointment setters list. This shows them that you value their support and may encourage them to be able to schedule a call with you. The eighth thing that you should focus on is developing an ideal customer list. The appointment shitter should work on developing a list of customers that they can actually reach out to on social media. These can lead to additional appointments for you to close more deals. Having an appointment setter on your team will free up your time so that you can focus on income producing activities. By prioritizing these activities, you can maximize your potential close more deals, grow and scale your business. So listen, if you're wanting to scale and grow your business in today's environment, it is essential that you have appointment setters inside of your business to maximize any lead that actually comes in. If you have any questions, you can comment below or you can always join our free Facebook group that's linked in the bio below. We go over tips, tricks every Tuesdays and Fridays on exactly what you can do to implement these processes into your business. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.